has been patient as we stumble through collective adolescence, lips laced with silent soliloquies, laughing as the scent of magnolia lingers in the air, barely here, barely there. All of us running in place, waiting for the scene to change, waiting for the revolution to announce itself in the mouths of everybody else, before we trust it within ourselves. A simple tide overwhelms from the inside. I can feel the pulse of time guiding me through the ash of yesterday. The things I did not do, the words I did not say, proof of work proof of stake. What do I do with the choices I do not make? Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday is merely a memory. Tomorrow, I will be different. I never aim to remain the same, rather consistent. The way things are ain't the way they need to be. The growing renaissance doesn't need to take so much energy. We can choose the path of least resistance. Not all expansion requires demolition. The future relies on the lives we choose to lead in the present. What does it take? What does it take to realize the stakes of standing in place? Forest fires consuming landscapes, floods swallowing entire countries while others benefit from the tragedy. The horizon, darling, is further than we thought. The locusts are eating the crop. Infinite possibilities, but we are stuck in our ways. Counting down the days to the inevitable, hoping time does not catch up with us this time. This time, this time, this time can be different. This time we can be different. We need not keep our knees bent to capitalist mindsets and cheap satisfaction. We can surrender to the abundance that the earth summons naturally. We can imagine a new way of life without destruction. Trust, trust, trust in the tilt, in the constant shift of light. Who do we become in the night? When all is said and done, have the strength to fight or the stamina to run, when the heat has seeped beneath our bones and our marrow no longer has a home, who, who do we become? When the trees give their two weeks notice and the sun insists, when the earth begins to spin too fast to catch our breath and the currency becomes all that we have undone, who, who do we become? It seems to be humanity is scared of its reflection, terrified of what we have become whilst we are complacent. Ain't it something to be? to be alive, to be messy and alive and here, confused and here. We do not need to know all of the answers, but we can't scapegoat our responsibility out of fear. There is no right, there is no wrong, there is only tension in conversation. Actions speak louder than words, they say. So who will we allow ourselves to be when the night fades and we cannot escape the embrace of morning?